it's so good to be bringing our message of good news and hope to you this week. Last week, we had two great celebrations involving being called by name. The first one last Saturday was celebrated at our Cathedral Basilica at Saints Peter and Paul with our Archbishop Nelson Perez. If you remember the week before at our nine o'clock mass, we had a rite of sending and we sent our catechumens and our candidate to be presented to the Archbishop so that they could be, begin their next phase through the rite of election. They are now not called catechumens, but they are called the elect. The elect, why do we say that? Because it is God who has chosen them and they have very graciously and wonderfully responded to his call and invitation to be part of our church, to become members of our church, and uh, to be able to be one with us. Part of that uh, celebration of the rite of election involved our presenting to the Archbishop our book of the elect. So our catechumens signed this book. It was presented to the Archbishop, which he blessed, and it was a great blessing for our parish community and a wonderful blessing for them. Please keep them in their prayers as they continue their more intense journey now, preparing for the Easter vigil where they will receive the sacraments of our church. Our other good news involved our stewardship weekend that we just celebrated this past weekend. We were all invited, indeed called, to put our time, talent, and treasure at the service of the Lord and at the service of our parish community here. We thank so many of you who responded in such a generous way. It is still not too late. If you were not with us last weekend or you have not done that, there are still cards available for you to get information on various ministries, programs, or organizations. And it's not too late to submit your offering. So if you need any help in those regards, please don't hesitate to call us at the rectory, but it is not too late. Our next piece of good news involves something that our, our church on a much bigger scale, our Holy Father, has called for a synod. And this week in our parish bulletin, there'll be an article describing what a synod is. And so as many people, and we talk about things, people say, well, let's Google it and see what it is. I have done that too to just see what is the language that Google is saying. So a synod is an ecclesial gathering, an advisory council, such as an assembly of bishops in the Roman Catholic Church. Now what the Holy Father has done is, in October of 2023, he's gonna be meeting with our bishops who are presenting to them the responses of the folks in our churches, in our local churches all over the world to, so that they can discuss matters involving our church. So the information in the article will give you more information about it, but folks, this is a wonderful opportunity. A synod on the local level to prepare for the synod is us coming together in small groups, telling our story, sharing our concerns about the church, listening to one another in a prayerful way. Um, there will be some gatherings here at St. Francis, but there will also be some regional gatherings. In order that Archbishop Perez can gather what we want to share with the Holy Father. So please keep looking in the bulletin, keep checking our website for information regarding the Synod. It is a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to have our voice heard, but also to really listen to one another. It's a very spiritual process that we are being called for to do by our Holy Father, but also along with the leadership here in our Archbishop Perez. So please stay tuned for more information regarding that. Again, we are continuing the holy season of Lent. So just a reminder that we have Stations of the Cross on Friday at 7 p.m. along with, of course, our 
great gatherings involving our fish fry and uh, another opportunity for us to be with one another and then on Wednesday evenings for our Lenten series. So please, it's not too late to join any of those things. Please come and be with us. Or if you need more information, please call the rectory. So continue to have a very blessed Lenten season. And let us just conclude with our prayer. Almighty, ever-living God, you have given the human race, Jesus Christ, our Savior, as a model of humility. He fulfilled your will by becoming man and giving his life on the cross. Help us to bear witness to you by following his example of suffering and make us worthy to share his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.